Okay, so next I'm going to show you cutting in um, a top knot. He doesn't quite have a full top knot. Um, he's still growing from being shaved down. Um, so we'll show you how you can tidy it up and really set in a nice, um, a nice HTC style top knot. So crescent 10 inch hard curves. You can see they're a really nice angle for a top knot. Um, so I'm just gonna come in here and clean that up by his eye to his ear. So and I'm gonna come back to this side and do the same thing. My curves are not flat with his head. They are angled down. I'm gonna come back or in around and clean up to his ear. So now that I have that cut in, I'll comb the front out. I'm gonna take my curves around and get anything that hangs down. You don't want to do it straight up and down though with these curves. You don't want to give them that surprise look. So I'll comb it again and let these curves do the work for me to set that angle. So now that I have that set in, I will come here to this bit by his ears. I'm going to turn my curves around. So I'm holding his ear back out of the way and I'm going to scissor this up into his top knot to match the rest. So I let that back down. You can kind of see there's a, a gap there. I'm going to do the same thing on this side. Be careful not to take that too tight or you're going to have an indent in your top knot. So now that I have that set in, I'm going to take my curves curved toward the top of the top knot and I'm going to round this up into his top knot. I'm stopping at my point there at the front of the ear. I'm going to deal with that in a minute. And like I said, I would like to have a little bit more length on him, but you guys can at least get the idea of what to do. So now we're going to do that same thing on this side, stopping at the point right here at the front of the ear. And we're just going to round this into his top knot. If he had more length, I would then come with my curves curved this way over his top knot and I would smooth this off in the shape that I wanted. Um, so now that we have that done, we're going to deal with the ears. So depending on the length of the ears that you want, um, with a blended top knot, you don't want to put a hard line. If you don't want a blended top knot, then you just go ahead and take this over the ear and cut that right there. But I'm leaving him with a blended top. So. I'm going to come here from his ear into his top knot. And that will keep it from having that line. And I'm going to kind of blend this spot, you know, where we had pulled it up and, and cut that in. I'm going to blend that back into the ear so that there's not a line there either. You want it to be a nice, smooth transition. So once you have the top knot done and the ears done the way you want, I'm going to show you the crust. So I still have the 10 inch crescent curves. I'm going to turn his head to the side and I'm going to come from his neckline, which we've set into, you know, his, his shoulder. And I'm going to blend this into his crest. 
And that's gonna give him a really nice neck. So that he has a nice long, you can already kind of tell here that now he's got a neck. But that's going to help you blend that into his crest. Can you stand up, Evie? You can stand sideways, that would be perfect. Sit up. There you go. Good boy. So once you set in your neck, with your curves curved toward the top of the crest. Thank you. And I always stop at my shoulder, because then you scissor them your shoulder separately. So then you can take your curves. Maybe I can get him to stand sideways here. Oh boy. So then you're going to take your curves going up. And you're going to cut in the neck. Stand up. Good boy. You're going to cut in the back of the crest here. So that'll give it a nice seamless transition into your top line. And you see how that's just the perfect angle just to blend that right in. So then once I've got that done, I'll turn the curves back around and I will blend that into the top knot that I've already cut in and the withers where I've already scissored that in. 